Hi guys, Ben here, and welcome to another video. A little bit of a different one today, because we haven't done one of these since we talked to that one guy that said that apparently buying DLC was a sin. Yes, we're covering another gamer I ran out to out in the wild that decided to flame me in the endgame chat, uh, but I unfortunately did not save the endgame chat because it wasn't anything like really like cool or interesting. It was just like... You suck. You're bad. And I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, like it was, it was a, a dime a dozen, right? Like I get those all the time. If I even like lift a finger to try against the survivors, typically I get messages like that. So I didn't think anything of it. But uh, just out of curiosity, right as we closed out there, I uh, went and pulled out the profile of this person, which we will be referring to as Max uh, for the duration of this video. And they uh, probably take the new cake. Yeah, they probably beat out the guy who says that buying DLC is sinful because they have a very, very interesting profile. So yeah, pop a squat because this is going to be a, a very interesting one. So one of the things I've come to learn about Max in the, in the very short and small period of time that I've been on their profile um, is that they absolutely hate people who try too hard at this game and sweat too hard at this game, which is kind of odd because considering the fact that uh, they have 92% uh, of the, the achievements in the game <laughs> and have an, an egregious amount of hours in the game of Dead by Daylight. So um, that's a little weird. But where things start to get weird is they have these very, like, long posted rants on their profile that are very... Um, Odd. The first big rant that they made simply goes by the name of shitting on comp DPD. The best advice I can give you is to go to custom games and play with bots, which if you're new at the game, yes, you absolutely should. But uh, bots in no way play like normal players do. In some cases against range killers, they just kind of like auto read your inputs and just like dodge for free, which is not realistic. But also there are other times where bots just kind of like get near a resource like a pallet or window, panic and just double vault in your face and go down, which does not give you in any way an accurate view of how real players actually play. So bad advice to start off with, but it gets worse. They came up with a term skirming that took to public matches. You'll notice a lot of uh, very interesting grammar choices throughout the, uh, the duration of this video today. <laughs> um, <laughs> most likely you will end up facing a blight with Mac offering and double eerie and four slowdowns or a nurse with nowhere to hide dot and you end up getting humped and slugged while you have trying to save a nice solo queue match. <laughs> They're jumping me up. Many content creator now promote this and you will end up getting brainwashed. Are they implying that, like, by attempting to win the game that you're being brainwashed? I mean, in terms of, like, killer side of maps, we're just looking at the blight example. Um, Mac has some pretty bad maps for killer. Uh, Suffer Pit 1, not too fantastic. A lot of really good resources in the middle. Groaning Storehouse 1, the Groaning Storehouse is a very oppressive main building. Uh, the little cubbies on the side of the map, pretty devastating for killers to pressure. Um... So, oh, I understand that a lot of like comp players do bring Mac and Auto Haven. To my understanding, every time I've asked them, it's just because like that's the maps they're most familiar with. Um, so, uh, uh, how how is <laughs> like how are content creators brainwashing people uh, into bringing something that is not in their favor while playing a good character? I don't I don't quite follow that one. And now everybody want to be comp with a comp name. And at the end of the day, you are just a pub player that doing pub matches that actual comp players doing campaign tunnel someone out of the game <laughs> and find this deli serve, confirm hook stages, blah, 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 and play the three of you one. Very skilled, right? Huh? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> that, there's a lot to unpack there. Um, just a pub player that doing pub matches at actual comp players doing camp and tunnel someone right out of the game. Find the Delhi survivor. Was this person aware that Delhi doesn't like there's no way to tell that somebody has deliverance until it activates? Like there's some things that are kind of like easy tells like somebody just trading in front of you like for no reason at like four or five gens. I think that's a pretty easy tell that somebody has deliverance. But like other than that, like there's not really a way to tell that somebody has Delhi right off the bat. There's just like no way to tell. So <laughs> I don't I don't know what they mean by like the killer hunts down the person with Delhi. Like unless they're hacking, they have no idea what your loadout is. And and uh, once again, this kind of boils down to uh, like an age old conversation we've always had with DVD, which is like, yeah, sometimes camping and tunnel is necessary to win the game. I'm sure they're probably exclusively talking about people that like do it at like five gens for no reason. But honestly, if I, you know, hook somebody and they just Delhi with me still with Antarius, I'm probably going to tell them too, because you didn't even wait for me to leave the hook for you to yeet off the hook. That's not my fault. You did that way too early. You, you didn't do it uh, at, at a distance that you were actually safe. So yeah, that's not my fault. That's your fault. You played wrong. That's not on me to play better. 
If I see how I, I literally can't read this tree because the grammar is so bad. If I see you have a comp name or anything to do with comp, not going to lie, you just need help and I will be blocking you. OK, so if you're playing comp at all, competitive DBD, if you're playing comp, competitive DBD, all, it's just an insta block for them. Does this up and to include like charity tournaments? Like I'm wearing my be the match buddy today from when we did the blood marrow research tournament. Is this that? Are you, are you gonna block me? <laughs> are you gonna block me? I know uh, Luna, Lunar Girl, is doing an all-female, uh, like women's tournament for a good cause. Like, do, do, do you do? Are you gonna block them? Do those also count? Just, just I'm wondering how deep does the rabbit hole go? Did you know that most, if not all, comp players, and I mean top comp players, are teenagers? That is true. That is true. That is a common criticism of the competitive community is that most of them are kids and they act as such, and that is why a lot of the comp community has so many behavioral issues and problems with <laughs> being seen and taken seriously is because people are just constantly doing nasty and awful things not because they're bad people some of them are as we have unfortunately found out but a lot of them are just kids and just don't know any better don't have a conversation with them or interact with them they are all afraid and terrified to lose pub play lose to pub players and i can give examples and examples of that when they play pub games solo or escape streak or whatever and if comp players really believe this game is a big rng fest you shouldn't care about losing not losing Losing or having an ego against pub players. I don't. I, I feel like if you get into competitive DBD, that you understand that you're trying to minimize the RNG as much as possible. I, I I don't run into at least the comp players that I know. The competitive players I know do not call DBD a giant RNG fest. So, what kind of comp players are you running into realistically? But we'll get to that later because there is a second rant on this page. This is very interesting. And what is much worse than all of this? Space question mark space. The low tier of comp players or the wannabe comp players are what I advise you, not advise you, advise you <laughs> to never have an end game chat with them. And the funny part is that comp players, they still snipe and go at each other's. I think I found this sentence really interesting because we covered a video a while back uh, talking about how sometimes Cop players will snipe each other in uh, Killer Whale's video, um, to which you know a lot of comp players reacted and say that like they themselves didn't do that and disputed that, um, or that it happens very minimally. So I think that's interesting. This, this feels like maybe this is like a direct lift from a reaction to that video, <laughs> not my video specifically, but Killer Whale's uh, just reacting and going, "Ah, see, look, they do it. See, look." and not really doing their own research about it, which is interesting. So yeah, if you see comp players or comp shit, just laugh. They are the biggest meme of all time. Meanwhile, once again, at the, at the bottom of this, which I, I found very, very funny, um, <laughs> they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight P100s. I stream this game almost every day of my life for like five to seven hours. I have two P100s, which is Jeff and Xenomorph. I'm working on rain right now, rain carotene. But I have two. I've been playing this game on stream like five days a week since 2020. I have two. You have eight. And you have 12K hours total, supposedly. 12K hours, supposedly. I don't know what that little doohickey means right there, that little thingy. I'm assuming that's a K. Because, like, you would not have 12 hours and have all that, obviously. You, you want to criticize people for not having a life and getting too much into this game, but you have 8 P100s and 12k hours. <laughs> like, hmm, a pot in the kettle, I see. Hmm, somebody doesn't like when they see something and it looks a little bit like themselves, huh? <laughs> but it gets worse, but it gets worse. So they have a second rant on their page, which is really weird because... It's almost like a Dead by Daylight hit list, which, you know, th this is not unheard of. If you've watched any of Choi's like um, like hacker videos, they have lists of content creators that they don't like, that they actively will snipe and intentionally hack against to make them miserable. But this one's really weird because it's not even like there's some comp players on here or there's some streamers on here, but they, these are just like normal people out there just playing Dead by Daylight. They have no social media presence, no content or of, of any sort to speak of. <laughs> like they're, just, they're just random people. They took offense up and just like marked their profiles down. Let's listen to some of these. Check out this double eerie blight that almost lost the match against two no mither. Do not talk in end game chat to this pub player. You will end up getting brain damage. Notice that here the, the, the sentence is almost lost against Tsunomither. So realistically, in this situation, 
th they lost. <laughs> they got beat, so they're mad. Realistically, this has nothing to do with how much the blight sweated. It was just that you sucked and you got beat, so you're you're mad about it. So you put their profile on your profile as like, I don't ever interact with this player. You know what's funny too? If you look at this profile, this is just a dude. <laughs> this is the dude. It's just a private profile, like with no links to any comp team or any content creation. Nope. This is just a dude. This is a guy out there playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> and they're like, never run into this person ever again. It gets worse. It gets so much worse. Meet this cringe lord that humps solo queue survivors for no reason. Say GG easy and get end game chat when he hard tunnels someone at five gens and still cannot keep up with 3v1 and dodges a 1v1 or scrim. Okay. You have an entire manifesto on your page, on your page, describing how much you hate comp, how cringe the competitive community is, but you're out here challenging people to 1v1s when you lose. You're out here trying to prove yourself against these people. I think one of the biggest and most interesting things that I've learned about the Dead by Daylight community is there's a lot of like internalized hatred and frustration that goes on in people. <laughs> like they they reflect that onto other people and often you find a lot of people that hate something and someone else in the dbd community it's because they have some sort of uh struggle or internalized thing going on with that very thing i think this person takes this game extremely seriously and unfortunately the checkmate their kryptonite happens to be comp players those are the people that seem to consistently beat them and that's what they take issue with and this person this person they didn't even say that they were it was a a a, a competitive player they were just saying that it's like yeah, this person just acted cringe and said GG easy. So like, yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> like, I, I, I just I just find the, the irony pretty cruel. The cruel irony here is that, oh, yeah, everybody who, who who takes the game too seriously, bad. Everybody who plays competitive Dead by Daylight, bad. Also, one if you want me. Oh, dodging? Coward. <laughs> now, there are some streamers on here, and that doesn't really surprise me. Uh, DVD players like to take a lot of shots at streaming and streamers in general. I don't know why. There's a very big... As much as DVD is very much like a streamed game, uh, their DVD also has a lot of, like, anti-streamer <laughs> sentiments going through the community. It's always been that way. It's always very weird. Like, if you stream this game, you're cringe. I don't know why. So I expected that much. Um, they seem to have kind of like a vendetta against Blight in general, because there's another one on here that's like, also, check out this piece of trash uh, that plays squims in pubs as Blight against solos. Man, four slugs and subs and pubs and hump them and bring them out for no reason. Comp community smile is nice. And honestly, realistically, it, it, just seeing this profile, how you flamed me and how you apparently flame everybody, if I saw you out there in the wild, May I give you a little smack on hook? <laughs> Maybe I would just leave you on the floor because you got a bad attitude, brother. You need an attitude adjustment. Not That was not an intentional wrestling nod, but there you go, wrestling fans. And this one at the bottom, once again, made me chuckle a lot. Pub nurse talking trash against solo queue survivors refusing to 4v1 or 1v1 and talking trash in a pub match as nurse man nurse man took him five gens to get three hooks and slugged Lamau. So, like, I don't get once again, I don't get this line of thought from you. I thought I thought comp and competitive was bad in your line of thought. Like I thought you were trying to clearly portray comp players as like cringe, stupid, bad, etc. But now you're like, oh, it's a pub nurse. <laughs> wow, how dare you play this game casually? What a weirdo! You don't even want to one v one me? Wow, so cringe. <laughs> like, which one is it? Is it is it cringe to be comp or is it cringe to be pubs? Because when they're competitive, you're like, ah, see, look at all those weirdos and terrible people. How dare you try? And then when you're in a public game, you're like, stupid pub nurse, you're an idiot. You don't know how to play this game. You don't want to 1v1 me? Come on, that just means you're bad. Like that fucking Always Sunny in Philadelphia meme. I'm playing both sides, so I always come out on top. That's literally what you're doing. You're like, I hate comp when it's convenient for me, but when I face somebody who doesn't have any comp background that I want to show that I'm better than, even though I lost, and they refuse to 1v1, they fuse, refuse to play something in like a scrim format, you're like, no, well, see, you're just a pub bod. <laughs> they are, holy moly, how is this person real? How is this person real? I think in summary, I don't think I need to say this, but I obviously I feel like this is just one of those people that seeks out a reason they lost every time they lose. And it just 
if they lose a lot, it's very easy to go, okay, well, if they have any sort of like comp background, even if it's like a charity background for comp tournaments, then obviously it was because they have a comp background. Comp is cringe, so heck them. Uh, well, on the flip side, <laughs> yeah, on the flip side, if they're, if they're pub and they beat me and they don't want to play by comp rules, they're weirdos, they're pub bots, and they're cringe. Like, you just play whatever side benefits you because you can't handle losing very well. So... Yeah, also, very minor aside, uh, I can't show their profile because, once again, I'm trying to hide the identity of this person because I just think this is really funny and shows, like, a really, really bad attitude in the community um, that at least we can get a laugh out of. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to keep them uh, uh, anonymous, but um, they're... Just, 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 you have to take my word on this. I, I can't show you. Uh, but there is a... Uh, their avatar currently is of uh, one of the Dead by Daylight original characters. And uh, I don't know if you've uh, been to all corners of the Dead by Daylight uh, internet. I'm sorry if you have. Uh, but a lot of people like to make some very... Um, interesting and suggestive art using our favorite characters in our game uh sometimes uh n missing necessary things they need to go outside like clothing um <laughs> this is very clearly one of those one of those arts one of those images just with like the head cut off <laughs> like it's, it's just only the head but clearly clearly just based on the position of the person of the survivor and the fact that i don't see them wearing anything yeah it's clearly one of those <laughs> so like somebody who is you know trying to grandstand say you guys take dbd too seriously you guys are really cringe uh literally has a a uh a very inappropriate profile picture uh, concerning a specific survivor in Dead by Daylight. So, um, who's taking the game a little too seriously? Who's getting a little bit too involved? I don't know. I think it's you. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. It was... I, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I said, I the, the that game chat was relatively tame. I'm just like, okay, well, like, you know, a little salt, but like, whatever. I get that pretty frequently. But the profile was unreal, and the level of just, like, complete lack of awareness that this human being had was very very interesting i know we haven't done one of these since the uh deal buying dlc a sin guy <laughs> but like you know i can't just like i have to find these people i have to actively like run into them to be able to make a video like this but i ran into another one so there you go <laughs> who do you think is worse out of the two people uh dlc is sin guy or uh cop is cringe but i also like to play cop <laughs> who is the worst among the three of these people let me know down in the comments below that's gonna be it for today's video friends hopefully you liked a little bit more of a light-hearted one today but i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do not i'll see you when i see you goodbye